celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage. Osho Shubo Traditional Festival is one of the biggest annual festivals among Yorubas that serve as a strong unifying factor for indigenous, non-indigenous and foreigners. The events accommodate different socio-cultural groups, economics, religions and political convention of the people to come together annually for the celebration. Various activities are held to usher in the festival and these include Iwokoko, ancient lamp known as Inao Logumeni Dilogun and others. This year grand final commenced at the palace at Aoja of Oshugo or by Jima Olani Pekon with traditional rites among worshippers and devotees. <laughs> Worshippers, devotees, and spectators within and outside were all present to celebrate and witness the occasion. A sacrificial calabash was conveyed from the palace to sacred groove by votary meat, popularly called Aruba Oshon. At the groove, worshippers and devotees fetch water and use the opportunity to make a request according to their beliefs. Traditional chiefs, the Yalojas, pay homage to the Ataoja of Oshobo. Traditional worshippers describe the occasion as a symbol of unity, love and progress to appreciate God and promote cultural identity of Yorubaris. They intend that the significance of the cultural festival will enhance productivity and improve the nation's economy while also appealing to the government to support traditional festivals. The importance of Oshu festivals is to give acknowledgement and thanks to all the blessings that the whole town has received from the city of Oshu, Oshu prevents invasion full and new war to enter the city of Oshu. Oshu also makes important formation foundation of Oshobo. That is why we are all here to give thanks to Oshu annually. And it's my first time in my Nigeria and I'm very happy to be here and to be part of this culture. And I want to thank the people of Nigeria for allowing us to be here today in peace and enjoy this wonderful festival. See the festival. See the festival. And to experience Nigerian culture, music, electric, wonderful, peaceful atmosphere, very safe. Yeah, amazing. I have enjoyed it. There's a lot of crowd. Let's start from there. I am shocked to see different people from.
from different walks of life. At this festival, white people, black people, you know, people from different countries, they are here celebrating with us, which means this festival unites us. Irrespective of our culture or our values, this festival unites us, brings us together. I have seen a lot of dance troops, I have listened to a lot of music, I have eaten here on Bayer, I have tasted the Okuro. It is just fantastic. Elsewhere in Noshogo, a supportive program to commemorate the festival was organized by Olokun Festival Foundation held at Laro Grammar School. Their separate address, the National Coordinator, OPC, and Are or Nakakamfu of Yoruba Land, Gani Adams, and State Coordinator, Abiodo Abodian, says Yoruba cultural and tradition is the responsibility of traditional rulers to sustain the cultural identity of Yoruba race in their respective domain. As one way is sustaining the cultural identity of the people of Kosovo, as we celebrate this festival today, we also keep the hope alive about the cultural promotion of human life. As a custodian of human culture and tradition, it is the responsibility of traditional ruler to sustain the cultural identity of human rights. In the same way, the Yoruba order should be more traditional than political. I want to assure that Oshu State Chapter of the Oduwa People's Congress we continue to do everything humanly possible to ensure that we continue to do something like this to promote Yoruba culture, not only Oshu Shugu, but other Yoruba indigenous culture. In his royal remarks, the Oluwu of Kuta Oba Oyelu de Makama appealed to Ale Onakakamfu and Yoruba leaders to promote and protect their culture. Uh, I implore Ghani Adams that he should protect culture in as much as he's promoting the culture. He should promote what he should protect what he's promoting. No traditional ruler in Yoruba land is being enthroned in the mosque, neither in the church. All kings in Yoruba land are product of traditional institution. So if Ataoja did not promote tradition, you will not find everybody promoting culture and tourism here today. The event was attended by the Secretary to the State Government, Teslim Igbalaye, Commissioner for Culture and Tourism, Abiodu Bankole Ojo, Are Onakakamfu, Gani Adams, traditional rulers, Olobu of Oukuta, Oba Ahmed Oyelu de Makama, traditional chiefs, political leaders, member of Odua People's Congress, OPC, among others. Okweyemi Akiyemi, ABN TV News, Oshun State, Nigeria.